It's the second of the county quarterfinals here in the town park in Templemore between Lena Errol and Kikim of West Tipperary. The sides are on the field. You're looking at Kikim's in their traditional black and amber. This is their line out. It goes Sean Ratch, full back line, Cody Satry, Jimmy Farrell, Barry Ryan. Half line, Brad Horton, Kevin Farrell, Paul Morrissey. Midfield, John McCormick, Jeff Cross. Half forward line, Anthony Quarter, Kieran Cousin, Vincent Kelly. And full forward line, Jeff Butler, Tony Farrell, the captain, and Declan Cross. Side showing Number two 10, changes from the West final. Into the side come nine, Barry Ryan and Kim, Declan Cross Cousin, in place of John Number Butler Vincent Kelly, and Christopher Ryan. Line, well, Butler, everything is in readiness. 14, the big boys are out there on the field. Number 11, Declan we Cross. just await the arrow clean the side and of course we have them on the field now in the frame and the big gun here of course is midfielder Michael Cleary will take some stopping in this game. This is their line out, Christy McLaughlin in goals, Tony O'Brien, Conor Donovan, Noel Coffey the full back line. The half line Paul Kennedy, Frank Borden and Phil Hennessy. Midfield Philip Kennedy, Michael Cleary. Half out line Robbie Tomlinson, Paul Dolan, Eddie Tucker. And the full foul line, Kevin Tucker, Neely Corbett, and John Kennedy. You're looking at the evergreen, Philip Kennedy. Former County Under 21 starlet and captain in 1980 and 81. The referee for today's game is that Drummondinch official, Willie Classy. And Anisha Carter, Big Around the Vienna Bank. Well, we're back in the action and referee Willie Tarsi Kickhams are playing from right to left, Erognina from left to right, Kickhams against the breeze. A little bit of argy bargy there just prior to the commencement of the game. Willie Tarsi making sure that everything is in readiness. A look at the watch. Trailing the ball, Kickhams into the attack, taken by Joe Butler, turning Paul Coffey, and the ball is gone to the right, and it's an outside there, taken away, and handed outside to Frank Morden, Frank left-handed, low, clearing his lines, pulled on beautifully there, into the centre, it's Robbie Thomason comfort, ball runs right through, taken by Neely Carver to full forward, into no man's land, really, ball gone, very near the sideline, gone over the sideline. <laughs> Sean Bradshaw watching that one over the, the end line. And there's a puck out for Kickhams. First taste of the action for the Kickham goalkeeper, Sean Bradshaw. Having a wonderful season between the sticks for Kickhams. Pucks that one against the breeze, holding up in the air. The rising foul, Paul Marcy and Tomlinson. Paul along the ground, into the left corner of attack. It's Tony O'Brien there, so too is Conor Donovan, the vastly experienced fullback, picked up beautifully by Cleary, and he left-handed to the far side, racing outside is Jimmy Fowl, leaves the ball, well pushes it along the ground, very near the sideline, kept in play, into the centre it goes, Joe Butler, trying a first time, and missing it, it's taken away by Paul Coffey. Paul changing the direction of the attack, out to this side, Barry Ryan there, so too is Kevin Tucker. And it's a line ball for Kickhams to be taken by Paul Morrissey, the wing half back. <coughs> Liam Heffernan, Erog Nina, 
coach there into the picture. Donny O'Brien is there. So too is Anthony Qualter. And it's pulled on by Tomlinson. Strong pull inside to the corner. Barry Ryan there once more. So too is Michael Cleary. He's pushed over the side and referee has blown the whistle. And I think he's awarding a free in to Aero Nina. And it's Michael Cleary will take this his first free after just over two minutes of play in the first half. Well, normally, deadly accurate from the place ball. Let's see how he gets on. He strokes it beautifully. It's gone inside, and it's gone over the bar for the opening score of the game for Michael Cleary. And it's Aero Dina. One point. Kick him. No score. Sean Bradshaw again has to face the breeze with this puck out. Philip Kennedy and Jack Cross. It's now Phil Hennessy on the ground, pulled on there by Frank Bourne. His shot is blocked. It's taken by Anthony Quarter out of the melee into the open space, looking for Declan Cross. Declan turns Donny O'Brien, and Declan half hits that, but it's held by John McCormack. John with a chance. John with a shot. It's looking good. It's gone over. A fine reply there by the midfielder, John McCormack. <laughs> it's the puck out to be taken. A first taste of the action for Christie in the goals. Christie McLaughlin driving it long, clearly trying to get his stick to it. Jeff Cross pulling on it. But going back there is, well, it's Declan Cross on the ball. Inside to his own man. Dolly O'Brien and Dolly a long clearance. Jeff Cross can't get the stick to it. Inside, Paulie Statry is there with Kevin Tucker. And it's a dangerous ball in around the house. Neely Carver trying to get a stick to it. It's gone over the heads of Neely and fullback Jimmy Farrell, and it's gone wide. Well, of course, that's John Kennedy, number 15, left corner forward for Aero Nina. Ball running to the far side. Philip Kennedy picks it up. Feeding it into John Kennedy's corner. Pauly Slattery going back along the ground. It's taken there and it's another point for Aero Nina. That was Robbie Tomlinson foraging on the far side. It's two points for Aero Nina. Just one for Kickhams and one point between the sides. Kieran Cusson and Frank Morden. Now it's Anthony Quarter laying it off. For Vincent Kelly, turning into the centre, running into the tackle, still kicking it ahead. Quarter looking for support, and that's not good. It's taken now by John Kennedy. Kennedy into the open space to John Heffernan. Heffernan playing at centre half forward. A pre-match switch there. Heffernan is in at centre forward, and it's now put over the bar for another point for Aero Nina. Well, John Heffernan suffering injury all year, didn't start an off final, but he's here today and he's play at centre half forward directly opposed by Kevin Farrell. Ball is poked out, Kieran Cousin holds it. A chase there by Philip Kennedy, a free there Penalised, Michael Cleary won't penalise. The free in for Kickhams to be taken by midfielder John McCormick. This one about 50 metres out. Lifts it and strikes it. It's a poorly struck ball. Frank Morden trying to hold it. Tony Farrell there in the action. Pulled on by Kieran Cusson. But it's Conor O'Donovan holding it securely and clearing it, left-handed, out the left wing, batted away by Kevin Farrell to John McCormack, and John, another high ball in around the house, and it's Conrad Donovan there chasing with Tony Farrell, Anthony Quarter back, John McCormack gets it in still further, and rather tentative moments so far in this game for both sides. Cleary the one to tidy it up, a long relieving clearance down the right wing, and now John Heffernan racing onto it, picks it up well in his stride, racing right through. Kevin Farrell staying with him all the way. Might be a chance here. And John Heffernan puts it over. 
Well, there was a chance there of a goal, but Heffernan was closed down very well by centre-half back Kevin Farrell. And the ball is gone over the bar for, it's now four points, 2-1, in favour of Nina. They play with the strong breeze. Robbie Tomlinson brushing off the tackle of Brian Horgan. A poor shot, Jimmy Fallon there with Neely Corbett, but going back and it's a dangerous ball, it's gone out of Sean Bradshaw, and it's gone wide, and that was a very, very good save there. Very good save by Sean Bradshaw, putting it out for a 65 to be taken by Cleary, and Cleary making no mistake, it's gone over again for another point for Cleary and for Aero Nina, and they've now shot into a 5 points to one lead. Hook out by Bradshaw, to the middle of the field, picked up by Anthony Qualter. Chased there by the wing back, and it's taken by Vincent Kelly, turning into Phil Hennessy, he's been fouled by Phil Hennessy, and a broken stick there for the wing back, Broken stick for the wing back and there's a free for Kickhams. To be taken again by John McCormack. Five points to one. Four point lead for Aero Nina. And let's see, can John McCormack narrow the gap after just eight minutes of play in the first half? Strikes it well, in around the house, a chance Declan cross, Declan picks it, turns to his right, a quick snapshot by Declan that's carried by the wind and it's gone to the left and it's gone wide. Well, Kickhams could have done with a score there. The wind blowing this way and that and is a major factor in this game as it was in the first one where Tumi Vara emerged very easy winners over Cashel King Commerce. Cleary linking up there with number 13, Kevin Tucker, a dangerous ball in round the house. Well, I'm not sure if that came off the goalkeeper's hands or off the crossbar, but it's gone out for a 65. Must have been off the goalkeeper's hands. And it's another 65 for Michael Cleary. Cleary strikes it, strikes it well. It's gone off the crossbar again, would you believe? And back in the play, it's pulled on by John Kennedy, cleared by Paulie Slattery. Kickham's under pressure. And as Kevin Fowl clears it to the middle of the field. Michael Cleary picking it up once more, and left-handed this time. A great ball by Cleary, but it's gone to the right. And it's gone wide. Kickham's haven't settled down at all in the first ten minutes of this game. And looking to survive there. Two attacks that might have yielded a goal. It's John Kennedy and Brian Horgan. Ball gone near the sideline. John Kennedy in still further. Robbie Thompson racing onto it. Paul Marcy's trying to get the tackle in, but Tomlinson gets his second point in this game. And that's now six points. 2 1. A five point lead for Aero Nina. Anthony Qualter there, knocking it inside. John McCormack, the one who picks it up, clearly in pursuit. Cormack is challenged, and it's taken away by Paul Kennedy. A fine clearance by him. Down the centre, Kevin Farrell losing his footing. And the ball breaks for Robbie Thompson, and another hit, a party statue getting across very well. It's taken by number 12. Another shot by him, and it's Eddie Tucker, but it's Sean Bradshaw clearing it towards the sideline, kept in play by Philip Kennedy, into the corner to Neely Corbett, linking up with Tucker. And still, Nina applying all the pressure. John Kennedy, a dangerous ball, took Tomlinson once more. Potty Statue with a strong challenge. But Brian Horgan is the one who goes back to pick it up. And a fine clearance from the youngster. Gone across over the 65, Cleary is in the thick of the action all the time to number seven, Phil Hennessy. Another dangerous ball pulled inside. Paul Morrissey is limping badly, has picked it up and cleared it left-handed to the middle of the field. It's now Frank Morden and Nina into the attack after attack. 
body statue there still further, but it's taken by John Heffnan and, ty and tidies this one up and puts it over the bar for another point. Point number two for John Heffnan. Point number seven for Eero Nina. And an injury for Paul Morrissey. Morrissey back on his feet but still in some difficulties. As the ball is poked out by Sean Bradshaw. Kickham's need to get into the game. Frank Morden reaching high. And the ball across into the centre by Tomlinson. Another shot by Tomlinson. This one is gone. Out to the right and gone wide. That was a great chance for the right half forward. Sean Bradshaw once more. With the puck out, still keeping a clean sheet. Cleary overruns it. Anthony Quarter to Paul Kennedy, settling down well now on the right half back. Barry Ryan into the tackle there, and that's a free, says the referee. Barry Ryan, a tackle on Kevin Tucker, and it's another chance for Michael Cleary. This one near the sideline. 40 metres out. He strokes it across the goal this time. Has allowed too much. It's gone to the left and it's gone wide. But he's already scored two. And he's missed a couple as well. The puck out again after 13 and a half minutes of play. John McCormick pulls on it. Anthony Qualter picks up the break. Frank Morden in pursuit. Inside a dangerous ball. Christy McClapton off his goal line, takes on the tackle and into the gap he goes and a fine clearance by him. Jack Cross has missed it, it's picked up by Brian Horgan. Brian a great ball, Tony Fallon there, so too is John Butler and McClapton once more feeding it outside to Conrad Donovan. Donovan under pressure, gets in a high clearance, a good clearance. John McCormick is rising for it, so too is clear, it's gone over the sideline. It's off to Nina Aerogman. And there's a line ball for Kickens. John McCormack. Settling himself to take it. Kickens attempting to make a substitution. Paul Morrissey, the one injured. And now it's Anthony Qualter with the line ball. Anthony into the centre. It's now with Phil Hennessy. Phil, the helmeted one, coming away. Anthony Qualter picks it up. And a high ball into the centre, not going very far. It's picked up by Frank Morden. And Frank has settled down well in this game too. A lovely ball by Kevin Tucker. Right across a dangerous ball. It's going inside. Sean Bratcher comes off his line. Ahead of Eddie Tucker there, Brian Horgan. Brian Horgan belts it along the ground, kept in play by Vincent Kelly, making tracks on the right wing, feeding it to Ger Butler. Ger Butler in the right corner, challenged by Paul Coffey. A bit of pulling and tugging there, but Coffey holds it, turns back to his more favoured right hand side, and into the centre to Ger Cross. Ger, high into the goal now, Tony Farrell is there. The ball on the deck. And it's now picked up and cleared by Conor O'Donovan. Party slat 300. Now it's Eddie Tucker. It's Kevin Tucker, I should say, pulled on by Jimmy Farrell. An attempted pull. Robbie Tomlinson out to John Heffernan. John Heffernan gets in. A dangerous ball in around the goal. Nearly caught is there. Sean Bratcher has blocked it. Another great save by Bratcher to Michael Cleary. Cleary low and hard. And it's another brilliant save. There by the goalkeeper, Sean Bradshaw. Goalkeeper, Sean Bradshaw, earning his spurs there with a smashing save by from Neely Corbett. Paul Marcy made the clearance off the goal line. Ball picked up there by Michael Cleary. And another brilliant save by Sean Bradshaw in the kick and goals. Cleary under pressure there from Kevin Farrell and from Paulie Slattery. Really sent in a rocket. And Sean Bradshaw pushed it outside of the right-hand upright. A brilliant save. Well, if that doesn't lift the Kickham team, I don't know what will. 
The goalkeeper there in the action. Two in a row, and it's gone out for a 65 for Eero Nina. Seven points to one. Kickham's not in the game. Just 17 minutes gone. Clearly with the ball. Has struck this one to the left, and it's gone wide. All the pressure coming from Nina. Sean Bratcher with the puck out to the far side. Jeff Cross is there, so too is Vincent Kelly, as is Phil Hennessy. Jeff Cross along the ground, inside to Jeff Butler, has missed it. It's picked up by Paul Coffey, and Paul Stearns comes out to the middle. Paul Morrissey is there. So too is Barry Ryan. Barry outside to John McCormack, and John McCormack getting in a fine clearance. There is Connor O'Donovan. Connor, left handed this time. Kim Cusson picks it up and right across to the other side, to the open space. It's Jer Butler coming away out from his corner, turning to his right hand side, feeding it inside to Matt, John McCormack, and John with a shot. And John has got a great point. Well, Kim Cusson, the one who changed the direction of the play there. Switching that across to the other side, Jer Butler picking it up and feeding it inside to John McCormack and he puts it over the bar, Kickham's now just two points on the board. Kevin Farrell under the puck out, a foul there says referee, John Heffman the one penalised and there's a free out for Kickham's. Paul Morrissey has recovered from that injury and he will take the free. It's seven points to two. It's been all Aero Nina in the first 18 minutes of the game. Tony Farrell under the dropping ball, taking a stroke to the head off the stick of Conor O'Donovan. Quite accidental, I might add, and Farrell in need of treatment. Well, Tony has been patched up and there's a free in for Kakems just outside the 20 meter line and the first opportunity for Tony Farrell the captain to fire this one over it's gone over for another point for Kakems now it's seven points to three the puck out by Christy McLaughlin Way over the halfway line. Philip Kendi gets into the centre. Now it's Robbie Thompson there. So too is Paul Morrissey and Paulie Slattery. Paul kicking it clear to Jer Cross. Jer into the centre. Held high in the air by Anthony Qualter. Anthony is blocked down by Paul Kennedy. And he hits it first time into Jer Butler's corner. But Paul Coffey has the measure of Butler in that corner. John McCormack. To quarter again, picking up a lot of the ball now at the moment, feeding it out to Vincent Kelly. Vincent making great room inside Philip, Phil Hennessy. A dangerous ball, but it's Donny O'Brien is there. So too is Tony Farrell to Paul Coffey. And Paul kicking it clear. John of Jack Cross batting it down. And there's a foul by, by Paul Kennedy on Anthony Quarter. And another chance for Kickens to narrow the gap. John McCormack will be the taker and this would be a vital one to get on the 20th minute. John lifts it and strikes it. It's dropping short in around but it's gone to the right and it's gone wide. Kickhams have settled a bit in the last four or five minutes notching up two points and they now trail by four seven to three the puck out Paul Morrissey going across hooshed on the back there by John Kennedy Michael Cleary with the ball Michael turning for a shot a great ball by Cleary a dangerous one in around the house Jimmy Farrell batting it down going across there again is John Kennedy roaming far and wide and Kennedy a poor ball really, Jimmy Farrell in control with Neely Corbett. 
John McCormack in his own corner of the fence. Out to Brian Horgan, the youngster on the Kickham team, the minor, to Anthony Qualter, Anthony Qualter to Tony Fowl. And this is better from the Kickhams. A lovely ball to Kieran Cousin. Kieran losing possession. And referee says, unfairly so, there's another free in for Kickhams. And this should narrow the gap still further. Tony Farrell sporting a bandaged head with his chance for point number four. And that's gone between the sticks for another point for Tony Farrell. Two for Tony, two for John McCormick, making a total of four. And Aero Nina still on seven. Haven't scored for some time now, mind you. Kevin Farrell. Misjudging that one, it's Paddy Slattery across from his own corner, pushing that over the sideline. The line ball, very near the end line, Philip Kennedy will take it. Good cut across the centre, dangerous ball, it's Kevin Fowler holds it securely and clears it. Out still further, Philip Hennessy is beaten by Vincent Kelly and Vincent first times it into Ger Butler pushing the ball into the centre with Paul Coffey in close attendance it's Declan, Declan Cross now to Donny O'Brien and Donny to Frank Morden and Morden standing on no ceremony driving it clear first time ball bobbing around there picked up by John Heffernan John Heffernan with a chance left handed and again it's Neely Carver and Jimmy Farrell to Robbie Thomason and Thomason with a chance and this has gone out off the stick of Sean Bradshaw for another 65. Well a snapshot there by Robbie Tomlinson stretched Sean Bradshaw to the limit and now the chance falls to Michael Cleary and Cleary unerringly puts it over for another point for him another for Nina. Eight points to one four. Almost 25 minutes gone in the first half. Double scores. As Bradshaw's puck out comes very near the sideline. It's gone over the sideline. Directly after goalkeeper's stick. It's a line ball for Aero Nina. Cleary lashes that one into the centre. Now it's number 12. Eddie Tucker there with Barry Ryan and Barry Ryan has pushed it over the sideline it's another line ball for Aero Nina <coughs> Cleary Michael Cleary there for the for the cut and another dangerous ball in around the house but it's picked up by Brian Horgan and he latches onto the loose ball again and makes a fine clearance Donny O'Brien, one-handed to the centre of the field. Phil Hennessy, the star of the North Final. Finding it a little more difficult here today. And it's with John Heffernan feeling it out to Philip Kennedy. And Philip's shot is a poor one, really. That's gone to the left, and it's gone wide. That won't please the midfielder. Took... A fine pass there from his centre forward in an advanced position. But the wind is a factor in this game. Pucked out beyond midfield. Paul Coffey again. Ball gone right into the centre. Bradshaw is content to watch this one going over the end line. And it's gone wide. Still... The score standing at 8 points to 4. Puck out between Michael Cleary and John McCormack. Paul Kennedy. Paul left-handed this time. Across to the far side. Brian Horgan gone back. His claims is blocked but it's there. Barry Ryan is there. To John McCormack picking it up. And Kickham's now playing reasonably well into the wind. It's Paul Coffey is there. 
and Jeb Butler, the one penalised by referee Willie Classy. A free out for Aero Nina. Conrad Donovan has come all the way from his full back position and launches this right in around the house. Barry Ryan is there, ball has run over the end line and it's gone wide. And Aero Nina wasting opportunity after opportunity in the last few minutes of the first half. Sean Bradshaw out to the right this time. To kick him in under it. Ball inside to Kieran Cusson. A good ball in looking for. It's now with Ger Butler. And Ger out into the open space to Vincent Kelly. Picks it up. And Ger with a shot and it's looking good. It's gone over for another point for Kickens. Well, that's their best score definitely in the first half. Joe Butler picking up the ball and feeding it outside to his right corner, to right half forward, Vincent Kelly. And Kelly's shot has gone over. It's now eight points to five. Kickham's very much back in this game. Clearance by Joe Cross to the far side. Three kicking players there. So too is Phil Hennessy. Ball near the sideline. Clash there between Butler and Phil Hennessy. Butler, a great ball for Tony Farrell. Tony has been fouled and there's a free in for Kickhams. Phil Hennessy's name going into the referee's book for a late challenge on Ger Butler. And a free from where the ball landed. And a chance for Tony Farrell surely to narrow the gap still further. Tony very near the sideline. A very awkward angle for the full forward. Nina will the quicker the set as Tony guides this between the uprights. It's gone over for a fine score for the full forward, Tony Farrell. And it's now eight to six. A fine comeback by Kickham's in the second half of the first half with just less than a minute left in play. Puck out by Christy McLaughlin. Kevin Fowl going back. Kevin's left-handed claims to this side to Anthony Quarter. Anthony left-handed into Declan Cross's corner but it's gone over the sideline. It's a line ball for Aero Mina. We've had a few injuries in the first half. Referee is likely to add on some extra minutes as Donny O'Brien, the Aero captain, prepares to take the line ball. Cuts it well. Down the right wing. Paul Marcy and Robbie Tomlinson pulled on by John Kennedy into the centre. Neely Corbett is there. Hardy Statry there too. Audrey pushing it out to the right to Vincent Kelly. But the referee has called for the ball. It is half time here in Town Park, Templemore. Well, to fight Roy Varash, Craig on Darrellach. As referee Willie Classy prepares to start the second half, Kickhams cannot be disappointed at all with the scoreline. At halftime, eight points to six. Aero Nina leading by two points. And now it's the turn of Aero to face the stiff breeze. Phil Hennessy going back, half blocked down by Tony Farrell. It's now Anthony Quarter, dispossessed there by Paul Kennedy. And there's a line ball for Kickens. It's the left half forward. Cuts it well. A dangerous ball in around the house. Might be something on here, but it's cleared by Paul Coffey. John McCormack on the ball, turning to his left hand side under pressure as Philip Kennedy picks it up and first times the clearance. Paddy Slattery away and bravely into the 
challenge there, kick you clear. Paul Morrissey with John Kennedy. Might have been a hand on the back there, but it's Kevin Farrell holds it. And Kevin with the claims. Full picked up there by Phil Hensley. Great catch in the air. Paddy Slattery batting it down for Kevin Farrell. Kevin and Brian Horgan. Paul Morrissey on the ground. Kieran Cusson there in a tussle with Frank Morton. Michael Cleary under pressure from Jeff Cross. Gets it out to the right hand side. Picked up neatly there by Eddie Tucker. Eddie on a run with Jimmy Farrell in close pursuit. A dangerous ball right across. It's gone inside and there's a free in. It's a penalty. The penalty there, the foul on Robbie Tomlinson. And referee has no hesitation in pointing to the spot. Brian Horgan, Sean Bradshaw and Kevin Farrell lining the goal mouth. Michael Cleary coming from midfield to strike the penalty. This might be the vital score. Ken Lowen Hard is blocked inside. A brilliant save there by the kick him. I think there's a goalkeeper, Sean Bradshaw. And there's a free out. There's, in fact, referee is going to throw in the ball and the kick him rear guard lives again. A pile driver there by Michael Cleary, blocked brilliantly. And the ball is out to the side to Brian Horgan and Horgan completing the clearance. Very near the sideline, gone over the sideline, Kieran Cousin and Frank Morden there together. An arrow ball. And still the scores are standing at 8 points to 6. Philip Kennedy with the line ball. Cuts it sweetly. Kevin Farrell there. Ball gone over the sideline. Another line ball for arrow. This time for Michael Cleary. Cleary, a brilliant line ball right across the centre there, rising for it, it's held, and there's a free out, I'm not quite sure for what, Kevin Tucker had the ball in his hand, referee has penalised him, and there's a free out for kick, it was to be taken by Sean Bradshaw. Right down the middle, it's held though, out to Cleary, Cleary gets a stick to the ball, into number 11, Paul Dolan. Paul Dolan, Paddy Slattery is hooked and it's Paul Marcy in difficulties. It's taken by Kevin Tucker, making tracks towards the goal, has lost possession. And now it's Jimmy Farrell with the ball out, pushes it out about 30 metres to Vincent Kelly. Vincent picking it up and Tony away from John Kennedy. And that's great ball by Vincent Kelly. And an attacking ball. It's Conor Donovan pushing Tony Farrell off the ball. Goes back, picks it up and completes the claims to the middle of the field. Added to by Philip Kennedy to Paul Dolan. Inside, Barry Ryan and Paul Slattery there too. Brian Horgan to Michael Cleary. Cleary with a shot. And Cleary has put it over the bar for the first score on the second half. Three points between the sides. And that was a snapshot there by Cleary. Puck out by Sean Bradshaw. <coughs> Frank Morton going back. Ball gone off and near Oak Hurley. It's gone out for a line ball for Hickens. And this 17 year old Brian Horgan. County Minor this year with the cuss. Cuts it brilliantly. Great ball. They're rising from the inside. Jeff Butler's there. So too is Conor O'Donovan. The former county fullback clears it. Jeff Cross. A great ball out to the open space. 
to Vincent Kelly. Vincent fires a shot right across. That's gone to the left, and it's gone wide. Well, a great chance there for Vincent Kelly. Placed by Jack Cross, his midfielder. But this swirling wind proving very difficult as Kevin Farrell clears that one into the right corner. A lovely ball for the corner forward, Jer Butler. Jer is blocked down by Paul Coffey. Now Phil Hennessy making tracks into the centre, kicks it clear. Held beautifully by John Heffernan. Nina raid once more, gone inside. It's Jimmy Farrell standing there, so too is Barry Ryan. Barry, at the second attempt, holds it up and links up with Jimmy Farrell. Very cool defensive play there by Barry Ryan. And Jimmy clears it. A great ball to Christopher Ryan in the action in the middle of the field for Kieran Cusson. John Heffernan, Vincent Kelly is there. Vincent Kelly playing on the right wing, playing well now. Kelly with a chance, a high ball, a dangerous ball. Chris McLaughlin watches it. He lets it go over his head and it's gone to the right and it's gone wide. Well, fine action there in the second half. Vincent Kelly with a second chance there. And he has pushed this one to the right and wide. John McCormack bats it down. Christopher Ryan holds possession. Hand passes it out to this side. Another chance for Vincent Kelly. Kelly very near the side and blocked down. And it's Paul Coffey. And Coffey has been as good as anybody in this game. To Jack Cross, feeding it outside to quarter. Anthony Quarter with a chance. Anthony Quarter with a shot. But again, it's gone to the right. And again, it's gone wide. Three chances in succession for Kickhams. And still the score is standing at eight points to six. Christy McLaughlin with the puck out. Philip Kendi in the air. And it's Barry Ryan clears it out to the left. Philip Kennedy again, the evergreen Kennedy, a dangerous ball, in around the house, Jimmy Farrell, down, and it's Brian Horgan holds it, left-handed this time, down the centre, Donny O'Brien is there, so too is Connor O'Donovan, the ball just won't come up for him, Frank Moore hooshes it out to Michael Cleary, who tidies it up, and a mighty clearance from him, into number 13, Kevin Tucker, Kevin gone right through a dangerous ball. Kevin has put it over the bar for another score. Well, that's 10 points to six. I might have said nine just a moment ago. It's 10 points to six. A very good point there by Kevin Tucker. Four points now between the sides. Vincent Kelly with the ball. Very near the end line. Vincent with a chance and a shot and it's gone over. Off the stick of Vincent Kelly. A lovely piece of holding there by the right half forward. Vincent Kelly, a second point for him. And it's point number seven for Kickhams. And now just a goal separating the sides once more. A long puck out by Chris McLaughlin. Added to. Paul Marcy holds it and is blocked down. Philip Kennedy out to this side of the field. It's now Kevin Tucker with Paulie Slattery in close attention. Now gone inside a dangerous ball. It's John Kennedy. Kennedy low and hard. It's a goal. John Kennedy the one. There might have been a deflection there. But John Kennedy picked it up inside and lashed it into the back of the net. And Aero are sailing. 110 to 7 points. Joe Butler bundled over there by Paul Coffey. And there's a chance for Kickhams. Well, the only chance, the only goaling chance that John Kennedy has got. And he has taken it very well indeed. A chance for Kickhams to reply. The trail now by 6 points. Tony Farrell, that distinctive style of free-taking, very effective, puts it over the lat. 
It's another point for Tony Farrell. Point number three. Another point for Kickens. One ten to eight points. County quarter final between Air Oak and Kickens. The winners will advance to the semi final. Tumivara there already, having beaten Cashel comprehensively. As Kevin Farrell is the one injured in that exchange there, just inside his own 65. The throw in. Philip Kennedy and Jeff Cross. Michael Cleary and Christopher Ryan. Ball in. Anthony Quad, John McCormick is there. Frank Moore is the one, gets the stick to it. Gone inside to the right corner. Robbie Thompson there, tossing forward on the far side. It's now held by Eddie Tucker. A great ball, a dangerous ball across the field. Cody Statry racing across to it. Is challenged by Paul Dolan, gets it along the ground to the side to Vincent Kelly. Kelly with Phil Hennessy. Kelly keeping it in play. Gone inside to Jeff Butler, but going back is Phil Hennessy, the covering player. And Hennessy, a fine clearance by him. To the middle of the field, Christopher Ryan down. There with Robbie Tomlinson and Michael Cleary. Christopher looking for Tony Farrell. Tony still further. And the ball is gone over the sideline. It's a line ball for Kickens. About 12 minutes gone in the second half. It's Anthony Quarter with the line ball. Hits it low into the corner. Batted away by Tony O'Brien to Cleary. Cleary, good footwork there, getting him out of trouble. Ball runs inside. It's now Barry Ryan beaten to the ball, a dangerous ball. It's pulled on by Eddie Tucker. Inside an air opening with Robbie Thompson has missed that entirely. Sean Pratcher in control has been. Ball is gone out. I think it's it's been fouled there in fact. And there's a free out and a great chance there for Robbie Tomlinson. A quick puck out by Sean Bradshaw to Paul Morrissey, out to the open space, to Brian Horgan. Well, very quick thinking there by the goalkeeper and his two wing backs. And Horgan launches a high one, but it's that man again, Paul Coffey, has picked up more ball than anyone in this game. Paul Coffey, Kevin Farrell coming away, outside a poor ball, but there's a foul on Farrell and a free in for Kickens. A free in for Kickens. This one to be taken by the full forward Tony Farrell. 110 to 8 points. 5 points between the sides. Kickens in need of a score. The full forward Tony Farrell has scored 3 already. Let's see, can he make it 4? Lifts it and strikes it. Has made no mistake. It's gone over for another point for Tony. And it's now. 110 to 9. Well, their Oaks' first 10 minutes of the second half have been better, really, than their last 10 minutes in the first. Getting that John Kennedy goal and two points as well. In the middle of the field, it's Paul Dolan gets it inside to Kevin Tucker. Kevin Todd once, twice, gets it inside. Barry Ryan is under it. Barry Ryan gets the stick to it, to John Kennedy. And John Kennedy has put this one to the left. And it's gone wide. That was a real chance for John Kennedy. And still the score remains, 110 to nine points. Long, long puck out by Sean Bradshaw. Vincent Kelly there with Phil Hennessy. And they've had a right old duel today, these two players. Challenging John McCormack and Frank Morden as Conor Donovan picks it up and clears it. A loose ball to Jer Cross. Jer with a chance. And Jer has put it to the right. And it's gone wide again. Well, that was a glorious chance there for the midfielder. Puck out by Christie. As Kickhams make a substitution. John Butler is in the game.
as Christy McLaughlin picks it up and clears it. Brian Horgan has been beaten by Michael Cleary. The ball into the left corner of attack. It's Kevin Tucker again. And now it's his brother, Eddie Tucker, racing right through to the, the two Tucker brothers, low and hard across the goal mouth. And it's gone wide. Number 12 and number 13. Causing all the problems there in the Kickham defence. And Kickham goal intact after that as Michael Cleary picks up the broken ball has been blocked down. Frank Morden boring his way through. Hands it out to Paul Kennedy. To Philip Kennedy. And now Philip with a chance. Inside. It's Jimmy Farrell is there. And Jimmy batting it outside to Robbie Thompson. Thompson with a chance from the corner. And Tommy Thompson puts it over the bar. A lovely point for Robbie Tomlinson from the sideline. The quick puck out by Sean Bradshaw. To Anthony Qualter. Qualter and Paul Kennedy. Frank Morton is there. Tony Farrell gets a stick to it. Into the right corner. Going across there is Conroe Donovan and John McCormack. No stick. John McCormack without the stick there has retrieved it. Phil Hennessy and Vincent Kelly. Kelly in possession, trying to make tracks inside, but Conor Donovan picks it up. And there's a foul there on the kicking player. There's a free in, and Conor Donovan can't believe it. Phil Hennessy, likewise. Well, it's a 20 metre free to be taken by Tony Farrell. And should he score this? We'll just have one goal between the sides. We'll follow the action. Tony makes no mistake. It's gone over for another point. Five points from Freeze for the full forward. It's 110 to 10 points. And this game is on in earnest. Aero Gnina, the North champions, against the West runners up, Kickhams. Ball gone over the sideline. It's Brian Horgan there. Brian with the line ball low to the far side. Phil Hennessy picking it up. And has been fouled. And there's a free out for Aero Nina to be taken by Michael Cleary. Into the stiff breeze, it goes. Into the left corner, it goes. Brian Horgan putting his hand to it, but striking it first time on the ground. Ball racing down the sideline. Phil Hennessy improving all the time now. Philip Kennedy out to Cleary. Cleary fires a long one in around the house. It's a dangerous ball, but it's gone to the left. And again, it's gone wide. Sean Bradshaw with the puck out. Down the left flank on this occasion. Bodies racing after it. Christopher Ryan to the open space. A great ball to Ger Butler. Ger with a chance. Ger low inside. And this one is out to Anthony Qualter now. To Tony Farrell. Tony Farrell racing right through. And he had outside to Christopher Ryan. Took his eye off the ball. And it's Phil Hennessy. Off the ground. A first time clear. It's a great clearance by Phil Hennessy. Pulled on by Paul Dolan. To Brian Horgan again. Coming inside. Another chance for Brian Horgan. And this one is gone to the right. And it's gone wide once more. Well it's Kickham's turn. To shoot all the wides. I make it five or six scorable opportunities that have gone out to the right and gone wide in the second half alone. Puck out. Kevin Farrell holds it well. Makes tracks into the centre. Left-handed claims. It's now with Declan Cross. And Declan now with a chance. Number 11 on his back. And this time, Christy McLaughlin holds it. And Christy clears it. A great clearance outside. Pulled on by John Butler into the middle. Frank Morton is there. So too is Christopher Ryan. And Christopher left-handed. A dangerous ball. 
And now it's picked up by Christy McLaughlin once more. Kickham's applying the pressure but not getting the scores. It's now Eddie Tucker inside to Kevin Tucker. Barry Ryan to Jer Cross. Jer pushed off the ball. Brian Horgan is there. Brian Horgan beaten by Robbie Tomlinson. A dangerous ball inside and it's picked up again by John Kennedy. And John Kennedy, the one, puts it over the bar. It's now 112. 112 to 10 points. And that's a very valuable point there for John Kennedy. Has now scored one goal and one point. Anthony Quarter racing into the centre, turns to his left hand side. A long range effort by Quarter. And this one is gone to the right again and it's gone wide on the right this time about 21 minutes gone in the second half nine points nine minutes left i should say about five points between the sides as robbie thomason handles it well and drives it up the right flank kevin farrell is blocked down is picked up by barry ryan and left-handed Clears it down the left wing, Paul Kendi rising for it. Dodie O'Brien with the claims to Paul Morrissey. Declan Cross in on the action. Declan with a chance, and this one, would you believe, is gone to the right again, and it's gone wide. Well, I'm sure Christy McLaughlin is a happy man to see those going to his left and to his right. As here opening a still lead, 112 to 10 points. The ball now into the left corner. It's Brian Hogan going back, runs into trouble. It's picked up by number 13, Kevin Tucker. He's fouled very near the sideline, and it's now a chance for Michael Cleary. Michael Cleary about 30 metres out from the end line. A chance for him to extend the lead to six points. Cleary strikes it well, a dangerous ball gone right across the goal mouth. And that one could well have ended up in the back of the net. Still it's 112 to 10 points. Puck out again by Sean Bradshaw. Picked up by Cleary. Back into the middle of the field. Now it's John Heffner with a chance. John Heffner with a shot. And Barry Ryan in close attendance has forced the error from John Heffner and that one has gone wide again. Very busy man, Sean Bradshaw. Down to the far side, Phil Hennessy. Improving all the time at wing back. It's now Kevin Tucker again, turns inside Jack Cross. Brian Horgan there with the rob, as the fellow said, and Brian with a long clearance down the right hand side. Donny O'Brien has switched over to this side. Under pressure from two kicking players. Too much pressure, says the referee. A free out for Aero Nina and Conor O'Donovan. Just six minutes left in the game. Aero with a cushion of five points. Conor O'Donovan with the free. Up the left wing. Brian Hogan knocks it down. Christopher Ryan holds it well. Hands it outside to Vincent Kelly. Vincent still in possession. Great work by Vincent Kelly. Now it's Michael Cleary, the covering player. Vincent inside to Donny O'Brien. Not in the game so much today. Donny O'Brien to Brian Hogan. Brian left-handed. To Donny O'Brien. To John McCormack. John making tracks towards the goal, looking for room. Outside to Anthony Quarter. Anthony with a shot this time, and Anthony has put it over. A first point there for the left half forward, Anthony Quarter. And it's now 112 to 11 points. Can the Kickhams make a comeback?
It's Christy McLaughlin with the puck out to Philip Kennedy. Now it's Ger Butler. Ger on the left flank has dropped this one in around the house again. Tony O'Brien handing it outside to his cornerback teammate, Paul Coffey. Coffey has been blocked down and the ball has gone very near, gone over the sideline. A line ball, John McCormack in a hurry. Well, it's an arrow clean a ball and Paul Coffey is the one who will take it. We're into the last three minutes of play. Aero by four points. 112 to 11. Good ball by Coffey to Chris Ryan turning back into the tackle. It's pulled on by Kevin Farrell and Coffey again. What a great game he's had for Aero Nina. John Butler going across. It's picked up by John Kennedy out to the open space. John Butler along the ground to this side of the field. Vincent Kelly with room in front of him. Vincent on the run. Good ball inside. It's now with Declan Cross. And Philip Kennedy, the midfielder, is going back to lend a hand in defence. To Vincent Kelly. And Vincent has pushed that one over the sideline. The line ball for Aero Nina. And I'm sure Michael Cleary will be a happy man to strike this one out of defence. Cleary, bets it into the centre, picked up by Robbie Thompson, lost again, on the ground, inside. Aidan Slattery, the substitute in the right corner of the fence, has kicked that one over the sideline, and now Aerog Nina come raiding once more. A quick one by John Kennedy to Michael Cleary, standing all alone. Cleary with a chance, Cleary with a shot, it's gone over the crossbar, another point for Michael Cleary. A bit of quick thinking by Michael Cleary and John Kennedy. And now surely that secures the game for Aero Dean. It's 113 to 11 points. As Frank Borden comes into the action and clears that over the right-hand touchline. Paul Morrissey in a hurry. His side trailing by five points. We're into the last couple of minutes of the action. Philip Kennedy gets that one into the attack once more. Barry Ryan beaten. Ball is with Kevin Tucker. Kevin outside to John Heffernan. Barry Ryan in attendance. It's now Michael Cleary. Another chance by Cleary. Half blocked down to number 12. And this has gone over for another point. It's now 114. Kevin Tucker the scorer there. 114 to 11. Quick puck out to Christopher Ryan. Christopher flicking it on to John Butler. Paul Morrissey dribbling inside. It's taken away there by Paul Kennedy. And there's a free there for Aero Nina from their own 45 or thereabouts. The crowd making its exit from the field here in Templemore. Aerog surely on their way to a county semi-final. Leading by six points as Conrad Donovan strikes the free. Drops it 14 metres out. Brian Hargan is there. So too is Eddie Tucker. Sean Bradshaw keeping the ball in play. Off his right hand side, down this side of the field. Phil Hennessy is there. Phil Hennessy holds it securely and drives it across to the far side. Kevin Farrell standing, and Kevin with a long relieving clearance. Going back, it's now John McCormick with the shot, and James Ball, Tony Farrell going right inside. Tony, under pressure, tries a second attempt there. It's now John McCormick again, trying to look for that goal. Phil Hennessy is there, and John McCormick puts it over the bar. Three points for the midfielder, John McCormick. It's now 114 to 12. We're in the dying moments of the game. Christy McLaughlin pucks it out. Referee has called for the ball. It's all over. Erog Nina 114. Kickham's 12 points. Shinawilla Carter or Moore.